Dog behavior come down to nature or nurture? That's the debate going on in Jasper, Tennessee, where city leaders want to place restrictions on pit bulls. News Channel 9's Alana LaFleur joins us now from a neighborhood that city officials say has a loose pit bull problem. Alana. Guys, we are in the Gamble subdivision. The city's animal control officer said if we came out here, we would probably see lots of pit bulls and pit mixes, but we haven't seen any today. And we talked to some neighbors who say they're doubtful an ordinance will change. Dog lover Martha Yarbrough lives in Jasper and known pit bulls years ago. They was gentle. They didn't fight. Viewers on our new Channel 9 Facebook page showed pictures of their pits, saying they have similar demeanors. But the city of Jasper's animal control officer says aggressive pit bulls and pit mixes are dangerous. He wouldn't talk to us on camera, but said in April a pit bull attacked and killed a small breed dog in Jasper. He also told us back in November a pit bull jumped a fence, went into a house, and attacked another dog. If they're uh, being fighting other dogs, yeah, you know, that's what they do. That's what they're trying to do. Just last week, a six-month-old baby was mauled to death by a pit bull in Nevada. Jasper's mayor, who also would not talk to us on camera today, says the ordinance would require pit owners to register them with the city. Pit bulls would have to wear a muzzle when not at home, which the mayor says would protect people from attacks. They'd also have to take out an insurance policy for $100,000 of liability in case a dog injured someone. People can't afford it. We couldn't. The ASPCA warns against breed-specific legislation, suggesting breed-neutral policies that hold dog owners responsible instead. The the group says it's hard to classify breeds by appearance alone. Right now in Jasper, it's illegal for any dog to run loose in the city. It's also against the law for people who own dogs known to be vicious or dangerous, unless the dog is confined or restrained. Yarbrough says owners need to step up and properly train their dogs. If they're not mean to the dogs or nothing like that, the dogs don't get mean. Some residents we talked to today who wouldn't go on camera say if the ordinance keeps people and other animals safe, they're in favor of it. And we check with some neighboring cities about what their pit bull policies are. We learned that in South Pittsburgh, people cannot own, do own pit bulls at all. And over in Kimball, they, if they own them, they have to leash and muzzle them if they leave the house. And they have to take out a $1 million insurance policy. We're now reporting live in Jasper, Alana LaFleur, News Channel.